G'day guys, welcome back to How To Tuesday. On this episode, we will be looking at the iDrive throttle controller, brought to me by iDrive Australia. It's gonna be a great little tool to stick in the cruiser. I've got a tuned V8, so let's see how this improves it. Daily drive. So what is a iDrive throttle controller? It's a little device that goes onto the pedal relay in your car. Um, back in the day, they used to be cable or hydraulic throttles, but now they've all gone to electric. So what this does is it plugs straight into the plug behind your throttle, and then it relays a different signal to your ECU to tell the engine how to rev or open the throttle. Or it's all the stuff that makes it fun and loud, you know? So we're gonna plug this in. Um, there is a bit of programming to do apparently, so I'll take you through that as well. And then we're going to have some fun in the mud. Okay, just have to take this one off. Like so. And then we take our next piece, we put that in that way, and then this one simply clips back into there. So we've got the interface installed now, simple as that. I think that'll look fine just there. It's where everyone usually puts them, so... Yeah, get that nice and clean, get all the oils off it. Otherwise the tape will not stick to it. Now this is just an alcohol, so it'll evaporate just as fast as I'm putting it on. It comes with its own double-sided tape, so all we need to do is peel off the cover, and she's ready to stick on. Make sure you put it up the right way. And that is exactly where she's going. Nice and even. Done. Programming you have to do with this one is you gotta tell it if you have automatic or manual transmission. And to do that, um, all you do is hold down the mode button for three seconds and it'll either have double zero or double eight come up on the display. Um, for manual, it is double zero, so that's what I need to get it onto. The last step I have to do down here is connect the control. Make sure the nip's in the right side. So you tell which way it's going. Make sure you can see that. But now it's ready to be turned on. Okay, so now I've got a hold down mode. And it is set to double O already, so that's fine. Now we just turn it on and go for a drive. Choose a couple of different settings and have some fun. There's not many places you can do testing in the streets. <laughs> camera being shaken around everywhere so I'm not sure it is. Is it worth $300? It's on ultimate 9 at the moment but um, I am just cruising around the street so what I will do is I'll whack it down into economy mode. Oh yeah. It is a lot more responsive actually. Alright, so I'll go back down to economy mode. I don't know, it's, 
it's mixed feelings. The yeah, it's it's made a fair bit of response to the um, to the throttle, but three hundred dollars. Okay, so first impressions. Um, very easy to install. I've, I've got to give us that um, programming even easier. Uh, it's performance. Look, I'm going to have to give it a little bit more time on that one. Yes, there is some changes to the, the responsiveness of the throttle, but maybe because I've already got a tuned V8, I've already had the um, responsiveness turned up on the throttle through the ECU, perhaps. Um, I really have to get it out in the bush, do some stepping ups and um, give it a fair go. So at, at the moment, I'm on the fence for $300, not too sure, but Let's see how we go in the bush, because that's when it's really going to come to light, I reckon. I'll throw the trailer on the back of it, because that's that really lags your, your pedal. And we'll go from there, so yeah, stay tuned, I'll give you some, some proper feedback on it. Hey guys, all right, it's been a week. Um, we're out in the bush now testing the iDrive. I've had a good little play with it. Um, I was a little bit disappointed when I first took it out for the test, but I did only drive it around the block and I hadn't really had a chance to play with the settings. What I suggest if you guys do get these, bump all the settings up to nine and then switch between them when you play because that's when you really are able to feel the difference in what it does. Once you've been driving around with it, knock it back to what you feel and then you'll get the real benefits out of it. Alps at nine, just touching the pedal just that little bit, mate, she takes off. Echo nine, you can put the foot all the way to the floor and she'll just take off nice and smooth. Um, the AC mode, pretty much what I've been driving around on most of the time and then I just flick it up and down to suit the conditions I'm in. I think uh, the echo mode on number nine, but knocked back a bit, perfect for low range crawling as I expected and the ultimate nine is just awesome for like mud trying to get in there and then you switch it over to low um, echo mode and then you just you crawl out of it one of those kind of modes that really helps you with keeping the wheels moving really slowly so you can help with winching and stuff like that look the device I'm wrapped with it it's great tune truck I drive perfect combination get it amongst it fantastic oh. I can't, I can't praise it high enough. So it's, um, it's about nine o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna go and hit the trails again because I'm excited. Have a good one, guys. I'll do it nine. There you think that? Yeah. Um, that felt bad um, when you hit, as soon as you hit second, it took off better. Okay, so that was standard compared to Ultimate 9. That's just like it's not even there. Yeah, 